Hey, my name is Boogie2988, and this is my quarter million dollar home. So I bought this place back in 2015. Um, it's got pretty much all one floor because I'm pretty anti-stairs. We still have uh, Christmas lights up in February. Don't turn them on, but they're there. On top of that, we have Halloween decorations I just haven't bothered picking up. That's kind of great. Um, we don't really do a lot of yard maintenance until the housing authority gets on us in this area. We got five bedrooms. We got two and a half baths and uh, I have filled it with useless shit. And then my, my ex-wife asked me, buy me a nice house and we'll stay in Northwest Arkansas forever. So this is the house she and I picked and I don't know, I just refuse to move out of it at this point. Uh, now, as we come in, be prepared to be assaulted by dogs, okay? Beware of dog, beware of dogs. Hi puppies. I love this place. It's not a thought place I ever thought I would live in. I like, I'm so stoked that I get to live in a place like this. Probably have to sell it sometime in the next year. Uh, but for now, it's mine. Okay, so here's a space that I hardly ever show because it's my private space, it's my lived in space, but I'll show it to you. It's been on a handful of videos it's also always messy, so no judging, no judging, but come on in. This is my bedroom. You'll notice there's not a lot of nerdy stuff. There's not a lot of gaming stuff. I wanted it to be like the one normal room that was free of all of that stuff. I also thought maybe I'd have a few women over and maybe they wouldn't want to look at Pac-Man the whole time they were here. One of my more expensive collectibles my CPAP machine, my BiPAP machine. If I don't sleep with this, there's a real chance I could die. So I have to fill this thing with water every night and pop it on. How do I look? Is this sexy? I'm never selling this house because of this fucking bathtub. I fit in this bathtub. There's not a house in Fayetteville that has a tub big enough for me. In fact, it's got, it's got room for two. I know for a fact, because I've had several other people in here with me. So you want to see me at my best, you want to see me at my happiest, that's where it's going to be. Look at this, we have a collection of gaming t-shirts. We've got Binding of Isaac, more Binding of Isaac. We've got Boogie merch, we've got Stranger Things. We have Daggerfall, who owns a Daggerfall t-shirt? That's so cool, right? So this is where the magic happens. And I don't mean, you know, that kind of magic. Trust me, there's nothing happening in the bedroom. Um, but this is where me and my friends get together once a week and we play our favorite board games and play Dungeons and Dragons and play Magic the Gathering. And if I'm honest, I think this is probably my favorite room in the house. So this is the center of my universe right here. If I'm not in front of my webcam, if I'm not filming YouTube videos and I'm not playing games, I am sitting in this chair with my dogs in my lap, watching good shows on my giant television, playing video games on my PlayStation or my Xbox, and just enjoying being me. So this is kind of like a spillover gaming space. When we have enough people, which is pretty much always, playing Magic, we'll have a couple of games playing here. We have all of these arcade machines these were given to me by the company that makes the Marcade one up, and they were all review units. I'm not really attached to them. I think they look cool, but I don't really ever play them or anything, so I'm, I think these are some of the first things to go. But I think this room looks cool. Like, I, I don't use it ever, but I think it looks cool. Yeah, so this is where I filmed my um, e-bagging video, where I explained that I was going broke and that I didn't want to lose my house and I didn't want to lose my my career and I wanted to keep doing what I do for a living. I didn't want to be YouTube Boogie 298. I just wanted to be, I just wanted to appeal to people as me. So I wanted to get away from my set. I wanted to get away from the web camera. I wanted to film it on a real camera and in a real space. 
going into the kitchen, the kitchen's always pretty junked up. We're two bachelors, so don't judge us too much. I love this kitchen. It's hard for me to stand long enough to cook in it, but we cook in it probably every day, at least one meal. Uh, and I mean, since I've been losing money, we eat all of our meals out of here. If I'm being honest, we don't really eat out anymore. We cook a lot. And uh, let's show you the fridge. I know you probably want to at least take a look into the fridge. We have our diet sodas. We've got our drinks for guests. We've got our condiment selection. And I, we even have like, look, I love a wedge salad. I do eat some healthy food. So I do, but I, I know it's poison. This is literal a bucket of chemicals that I pour into my face three times a day. I know I shouldn't. This is my spare bathroom, or as my ex-wife who decorated it calls it, the bat room, because it's all decorated in kitty versions of Batman stuff. You got the Batman towel hanger, the Batman shower curtain, the Batman light switch, the Batman posters. I don't know why she liked Batman so much, but this is her bat room, and it's the one room I didn't change after we got divorced because you know, she decorated it. It's nice to have a little memory of my ex-wife in the house, but also I kind of like Batman. When I first started making a little bit of money, I wanted to have a house filled with things that brought me joy. So I bought all this shit. It brings me no joy anymore. You know what brings me joy? Is paying my medical bills, paying my mortgage, paying my rent, paying for water. That's what, that's what it brings me joy now. No one's allowed to judge what they're about to see, but a lot of people think I'm a hoarder and they aren't entirely wrong. This is one of those rooms that like, after I got divorced, it was a guest room for a really long time. And then COVID happened and I stopped having house guests. So we just had to store stuff and this just became the room we stored it in. This is a really good one. This is my ex-wife's treadmill. And when she moved out, she's like, ah, oh, it's too old and clunky. I'm not gonna take it. Maybe you'll use it. Well, for the first couple of years, I did use it from time to time, but eventually I found out I would rather take my dogs out for a walk than to walk in one space. So now it's basically a towel rack. I honestly don't know how to get it out of this room. I don't know how we got it in this room. But if somebody wants this, and will give me literally anything for it and can figure out how to get it the hell out of my house, you can have it. I could buy a new towel rack. And I think a lot of people are used to seeing the background. I don't think everybody's really seen the foreground, like what I look at every day. So that might be interesting for you to see. Come on in, come on in. Uh, here is my setup and it's, I mean, it's basic, right? The PC from Meta PCs, my sponsor, they really hooked me up there, but everything else like the monitor is just kind of off the shelf of uh, second monitor as well. Here you're gonna see a bunch of stuff that I've been selling on Whatnot over the last year or so. All of this stuff is up for sale and up for auctions on the Whatnot app. Um, here's some props and stuff that I've used in the background, but also um, just some collectibles and things that I got from Loot Crate that I just never wanted to part with. I really like some of the stuff, but it's all piled up because there's so many gifts in here. Like this is all stuff that fans have sent me through the years or companies have sent me through the years and that makes me happy. I, things I buy don't make me happy. Things that people have given me or sent me, that's what makes me